Hi, my name is Devin from Scrub, a division of HHB Communications. Today I'm going to walk through some of the new features in the Pro Tools S6 version 2.0 software update. This is the fifth software update from Avid as the S6 continues to evolve. Version 2.0 introduces a number of powerful new features. Many of them will be very familiar to Icon Power users. One of the biggest new features to come with version 2.0 is the ability to expand to the knob modules and spill to the fader modules. This is a great way to be able to navigate a very large session and bring the control that you need to the mix position. In order to set up the knob modules, we have borrowed from other parts of our desk and inserted them into a blank section of our console. In order to reconfigure the desk, I need to go into my settings and reconfigure the surface. By selecting the surface configuration and the console is the same width, I can now scroll across and select these dedicated knob modules. Once I've assigned their location on the surface, this now means that when I bring my attention to my VO track, for example, I now have a dedicated knob expansion for EQ and dynamics. This will be instantly familiar to any Icon Power user. In combination with knob expand, we also have fader spill. Again, this will be instantly familiar to any Icon Power user that is used to having custom faders. With the Avid S6, we now have a spill left and spill right zone available to us. And we can configure how wide or how narrow we want that spill zone to be. Again, when I go back to my configuration page, I can select my left spill, for example. Right now, the left spill is these eight faders. But let's say I wanted to have it wider. I can select from here to here and have it 12 faders. At this point, when I select my left spill zone, I can choose what I want to spill to those faders. For example, if I selected my layouts, I can then call up a layout directly to those 12 faders to my left-hand side. When I have a layout that has more than 12 channels, I still have nudge and bank available to me to bring the channels that I want directly in front. While I have my layouts spilling to the left spill zone, I can choose to have something completely different spilling to the fader modules appearing to the right of my central section in the right spill zone. In this area, I might want to choose to spill by type, for example. By selecting the right spill zone and selecting type, I could then choose to spill audio channels or auxiliaries, but a very quick way to be able to navigate is to select VCAs. If I was to select my all effects, for example, you can see that as a secondary function on the expand knob is showing all of the members of that VCA group. I can choose to mute or solo those or adjust their level. I might not want to control VCA group members from the knobs and instead have those spill out to the faders. What that means is when I select my VCA channel, I quickly have all of the members of that VCA spilling to the faders, allowing me to make any adjustments that I need very quickly. Another highly requested feature that has now arrived with version 2.0 is Flip. Flip is a very simple but very powerful feature, allowing you to bring control of the knobs row by row directly to the faders. For example, when I select Flip on the MTM, I am now cycling through bringing the knob control to those faders. By continuing to cycle, I have my sends, for example, which I could be sending to a reverb or to a cue send, make those adjustments, and by continuing to press flip, I am then cycling through those additional channels. I can continue to cycle through or hold shift and flip, bringing level control back to the faders. Another feature with version 2.0, specifically for M40 users with displays, is the ability to see automation lanes on the display modules. To set that up, under settings and preferences, I have a new selection here to show automation. With that enabled, by using my modifier keys, control and command, and touching a fader, I can now see my volume automation data showing up on the displays. I can use this to show mute automation, pan automation, sends, anything that I want. By using the option modifier, I can have all of my channels showing fader automation, and by using select, I can close that and go back to just showing clip or waveform or other data on the displays. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please contact HHB or Scrub to arrange a demo.